Okay, that's fine. Let me show you how you can play around with transparency in case you don't want a rectangle. This time I'm gonna go fast because I explained all the basics already. So let's go. If I wanna make an image, I would go into Photoshop, just create a new canvas, boom, create. Let's, for example, the circle is the best example I can find in order because you absolutely need transparency. So let's create this, put this in the middle. Okay, I created this weird thing right there. Um, so for images, easy clap, transparent PNG. PNG is the file you wanna go. Of course, you can go with GIF too because GIF doesn't have to be animated. It can be just images. Uh, so we can just export this as a PNG, okay, PNG. So we all know this format is super easy. Uh, I think we've all exported a transparent PNG before, hopefully, okay. Let's go here. Uh, while it's uploading, I'm gonna check out the size, 729. Okay, now remember we played around with the size. The size of the text is probably gonna be uh, a little too big, but that's fine. We're gonna click save settings. We're gonna go into OBS, go to the settings here. And it was 729. Okay, there's always a little adjustment to do. There we go, which is not normal, but I haven't, up I haven't updated my OBS in a while. Okay, so let's see what it looks like. Did I save? Oh, I saved twice. <laughs> let's test follow. Boom, easy clap, okay? Now, if it was to be animated, for example, this is where it gets complicated, okay? Because if you export as a MP4, MP4 does not take into account transparency, okay? So your background, okay, all everything that you have around this, it's going to be a certain color, okay? But fear not, you can still do the export an MP4 and convert except you will need to add a green screen. And once you have that green background, basically, you'll be able to uh, key it out with a filter inside of Streamlabs OBS. But that also means that you cannot use green in your colors of the alert. But you can use whatever color you want at the background, blue, green, anything that doesn't appear inside the alert itself. Anyways, that was a weird explanation real quick. Let me just import this. <laughs> and explain. So right now I have this transparent thing. I'm gonna create a sequence out of it and we want it to last, what, three seconds? Okay, so we have this. I'm gonna add some weird effects and we're gonna animate it like that. So we're gonna add this weird effect and we're gonna just play around with those, um, with those settings, with the keyframes and we'll make it work, chat, we'll make it work. So it's gonna start at 100% and in the middle here, go to four to four and then back to 100. Okay, we're gonna do that little ease in, ease out. Okay, so let's play it. Smooth, all right? So now when I export it, if I need to export it as a MP4, as I said, I'm gonna have a black background. There's no way around it with an MP4. It doesn't take into account transparency. Good news is that WebM does take into account transparency, but your editing software needs to be able to export transparent videos, basically, okay? So there's multiple types of transparent videos. Um, the ones that I know are .mov with a specific settings that you can do with After Effects. I actually cannot do it with Adobe Premiere. Um, and then there's just WebM. Since I have a plugin here that allows me to export WebM, I can just pick WebM, as you can see here. And then in my settings right here, include alpha channel. That means it's going to export it not only as a WebM, but in a WebM with a transparent background. I'm gonna show you both, okay? I'm gonna show you the WebM transparent background, no problem. But the odds are, if you're using like a free editing software, you're not gonna have the option. So I'm gonna show you how to export custom alerts with transparency without worrying about the whole WebM thing, okay, with MP4 basically. So um, let's click export for that one. So, okay, so let's go to, back to Streamlabs. Let's uh, delete this, okay, change media, upload, and then find our round one WebM. Let's wait for it to upload, do a little dance, make a little love, get that, oh, copyright strike incoming. Boom, select it, and now you actually have a round, you know, transparent background alert. Let's test it out. Is it working? Yes, it is. Cool. Let's test it again. Good stuff.
Okay, so that's the easy solution. That's the hey, I have Adobe After Effects, or I have the ability to export transparent WebM. Uh, not a lot of graphic designer know this, unfortunately. Well, not in the Twitch space, the Twitch community at least. So I'm gonna show you how to do it easily. Okay, we're gonna do the green screen option. So I'm gonna go pull this up, and I'm just gonna create a colored background. So you have color matte inside of Premiere. Whatever program, you can even just upload a green video if that's a problem, you know? Uh, a green picture from Photoshop, you can, from whatever, from Paint, if you will. You can do all of that, like, in Paint, except the animation part. Although I've never used Paint 3D, so maybe I'm wrong. Uh, boom, and would you look at that? Now it's all green, okay? The background is green. Now we can export it as the basic... Uh, video file format, such as MP4 or, I, I don't know, that .avi, .mov, you'll find converters online to convert them into WebM at any point. So we have this, so that's round one, one MP4. What's the bit rate on that? Not too much. Boom, and export. Okay, so we have our video file, it's that one. Okay, it moves, cool, it has a green background, cool. Now, as I said, avoid putting anything inside here that is going to be green because it's going to get keyed out. Let's go here. Actually, let's <laughs> upload it to Streamlabs first. Okay, let's delete this and add our brand new. Oh, no, wait, it's MP4. Uh, <laughs> let's add, let's convert our MP4 into a WebM because it has to be WebM. Otherwise, it's not going to go in, um, in Streamlabs. So convert it on this website or whatever website you want that does that. There's so many of them. I'm so thirsty, chat. Okay, this is in French. It's probably going to be in English for you. It's basically, hey, start converting. Now you converted it. Boom, it's being downloaded. Okay, cool. So we have it here. Let's go back to Streamlabs and uh, just drag and drop it. Booyah. So now it's a WebM and WebM take into account transparency, but we had to convert an MP4, which is not transparent, into a WebM. So your final WebM file will not be transparent if you if it was originally and MP4. So we're going to still add it, you know? Okay. 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 <laughs> we're going to click save settings. We're going to click uh, test follow. And we should have a big round with green background. Now, now all we need to do is add a filter that will take away the green, right? Okay. So right click the browser source, add filters, go to the plus to add a filter and choose chroma key. Chroma key automatically knows that it's uh, it's going to be green, the color that you want to delete, and it's going to give you the, this this default thing. Uh, um, the good news is that you can play around with it to make it similar or not, but we don't have time to tinker around everything to make it look perfect. Okay, so now let's test it again. As you can see, it took away a lot of our blue, so <laughs> I'm going to put my Streamlabs screen right there, and then I'm going to put my OBS right there that way and play around while I test it. I can do this and see. In similarity, I'm going to play around with it until I have a good result. Boom. Easy clap. That is what it was intended to look like. So there you go. <laughs> so if you know the these couple of tricks it's it, it gets really easy so just create your thing don't think too much about um the transparency of course try to not add like bright green but let's say if green if bright green is part of your color scheme there's another filter called co color key i believe yeah color key that means that you can key any color out so if green is part of your alert uh put a blue screen put a red screen put a color that doesn't that isn't part of your alert as the background and then you can key it out. And of course, since you have the option inside of Streamlabs OBS to pick the, the, the text color, don't put it as green either, okay? Just be smart, be smart, lol, forehead. Anyways, that's the end of this very, very long video, longer than I intended. Um, Again, let me know in the chat if you would like to see more in-depth stuff about the coding, for example. I technically know that most of my viewers do not want to do anything advanced or complicated when it comes to streaming, unfortunately. But um, yeah, if I get enough comments, maybe I'll, I'll get my friend who is very, very good with CSS and JavaScript and coding in general to make a quick little tutorial to show you guys, hey, here's more advanced stuff that you can do with custom alerts. All right, don't forget it's spooky season. 
three different Halloween overlays plus a free bit jar cauldron animated to that you can get plus a tutorial on how to display your heart rate. Check all of that out on my channel. And uh, thank you guys so, so much for watching. <laughs> I will see you guys next time. Go out there, make me proud. Happy Halloween and get level out.